Investigative reporter Max Blumenthal has uncovered a secret meeting which took place in the United States which discusses the possibilities of a military invasion of Venezuela. The, it was a private roundtable kind of discussion called Assessing the Use of Military Force in Venezuela, which was hosted by the D.C.-based think tank Center for Strategic and International Studies. The roundtable was held on April 10, yet its checklist was misleadingly dated as April 20. The fact the meeting had actually taken place was confirmed to Blumenthal by its participants. Blumenthal told RT they were extremely nervous that somebody in the media knew about the existence of the event. There was a high-level meeting with basically the main people in Washington involved in the making the sausage of Trump's Venezuela policy, and they wanted to keep it as private as possible. It really does show that military options are being seriously considered at this point, after all other mechanisms that Trump has put into play seem to have failed. Now, this roundtable included many former and incumbent military and civil officers from the U.S. and South America, representatives of USAID and the Organization of the American States, as well as analysts from various think tanks. So there was, there was a great deal of effort put into this. This wasn't like something that some, you know, they did just grabbed some people who were just puppets of U.S. policy and then decided to go with it. Although they are, but these are very serious, high-level people who have a great deal of knowledge in the functioning of South American politics. Now, several of these figureheads were appointed by the self-proclaimed interim president Juan Guaido, also in attendance. So here, now we have also Juan Guaido, people that he handpicked for faux positions, actively involved in a plan to militarily invade their own country. Think about that. As Venezuela right now is considering whether or not to charge Juan Guaido with what would be essentially conspiracy against the country, here's his guys actively involved in drawing up plans to militarily invade Venezuela. Now it should be noted that any invasion of Venezuela would have to would have to have the compliance of, of Brazil and or Colombia because they are the bordering countries and if there was to be a ground invasion those forces would have to come in through those countries. And as we both know, Colombia has been a longtime puppet of the United States, and Bolsonaro has been essentially a fascist friend of the United States ever since his election, etc. So it seems very likely that those countries, if placed under enough pressure, would acquiesce to U.S. interests and essentially carry that out. But what's really important here is the fact that this is where U.S. imperialism has to go. After nearly two decades of trying to sabotage the country, of continually causing blackouts inside the country to try to destabilize, etc., this is where they're at now. They have essentially no option left but to use the military. And the strength and the solidarity of the Venezuelan people who are behind the Bolivarian Revolution... That's going to get tested very soon because if this invasion takes place, it's going to it's going to cost a lot of lives. Now, I, I don't know what the chances are for Venezuela to survive, but a war with the United States, regardless of whether or not Venezuela wins, will be one that is very long and very bloody and one that will cost the Venezuelan people a great deal. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.